Hey, good morning, guys. So I just came out this morning. This is kind of wanted to, I, you know, this doesn't happen very often, but I wanted to show you an example of what can happen with your open metal panels when you're dealing with the temperatures right now, which it's kind of one of those mornings, it's 44 degrees and we're kind of in that weather pattern where Texas can't decide what it's going to do. It's 44 degrees this morning. The sun is out. So it's starting to come and warm up things. But I wanted to show you a couple things here. Let me flip it around. I got water here dripping. And you can see there's water all under the bottom side dripping under my covered parking area. So you might say, oh my gosh, you got leaks. No, this is just wet all under the panels right here. Now you could figure it a couple different ways. We had a lot of rain the other day, um, but all of this is wet. You, you could have just the moisture that's coming out of the ground, but you got different temperatures between the top side of this and the bottom side of this. So it's a little bit of both. But this is what happens with the metal when it condensates. So let me take you into an area where we have insulation. I'll show you the difference. Okay, before I take you where we have insulation, I wanna show you another spot where this is just my tool shed. And you can see the difference here. I've got concrete under this, which leads me to believe that most of this moisture under the carport area is coming from the ground uh, because it's catching it at the top because in here we don't have any condensation maybe very little i guess you can see just a little bit of condensation right here there you go so you got a little bit of condensation right there and you're catching some of this moisture from the outside atmosphere and the interior, but it's a little bit different when you come in here. Uh, so I wanted to show you that, but no drips on the floor in this space. Now this is covered with concrete here, but it's more open to the outside element. So it's catching more, a lot of condensation out here. Now this is in our shop area where we have closed cell foam all on the roof area. So uh, no, no condensation here because it's well insulated under the bottom. Of course, no drips. Just a lot of like June bugs that come into this space. But again, no, no, uh, no evidence of any condensation in here either. Um, so a couple things that are different about this climate. We don't have heat on in here, but we do have air conditioning, um, which it's set on 70, so it's not even running right now. So that's the differences. For those of you that are definitely afraid of metal panels for roofing, uh, I just want to kind of calm your fears a little bit. If you do the adequate insulation, uh, you don't have any need to worry. Um, like I said, if you're exposed to the elements and you've got a covered parking area uh, and you've got ground moisture that's coming up, you're probably going to catch some, some uh, condensation for those spots. But in an area where I had the walls, closed on three sides, hardly any condensation there. And then on the interior, of course, helps all the more uh, when you put the closed cell foam. This is gonna add that protection underneath, which helps keep the inside uh, atmosphere from impacting the underneath side of the metal. Um, that's the biggest part of it. You got more atmospheric uh, moisture that's happening where it's more exposed to the elements. 
Uh, so I've seen a couple videos out where people are just saying this is what's bad about metal. And it's really not. It's, metal is not something to be afraid of. You just got to know how to insulate it properly so that you don't have issues with your climate. So there you go. Perfect example this morning. Now, let me say this. I very rarely have ever even seen condensation under this metal. So this is a, this is a very rare occurrence here in Texas to have that at all. So, but I saw it this morning. I thought, hey, that might be a good little uh, example to show you guys. So again, here we got the drips where we're all open. When you go in there and you got sides covered, no condensation dripping in there. Uh, there are some things that you can do. You could actually get a drip. Uh, there's a like a drip guard or something like that that you can put under your metal. It sticks to the underneath side and that's supposed to help prevent drips. I know in the uh, Mr. Post frame up there in the uh, Midwest, Northern areas, a lot of people are using that in those, in those spaces. So uh, anyhow, there's a lot of good things you can do to help prevent it. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Josh Helm, wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching Texas Best.